Bob Barker saying good night. Hey, everybody! On your mark. Get set. Go! Start breaking those balloons. These two teams are having a popping good time as we ship in. Whip it good. One will have the air let out of their balloons while the other proves to be the cream of the pop with 25 bucks. And control of the sweetest game in town. First, keep in mind that if you break all your balloons, you can help your partner. And they're doing pretty good over here on the red side. Blue side's going to have to move a little quicker. They seem to be doing that right now. Help each other out. Who's going to do it first? Our judges are going to tell us. The red side did it. The red side did it. Way to go. 25 minutes. Family double dare. And now, here's your family double dare host, the man who's not afraid to make a fashion statement, even with sandals and black socks, Mark Summers. Hi there. Nice to see you. Welcome to Family Double Dare. I've never worn sandals and black socks. This is a great show. We have fun. We get messy. We give away prizes, and what more could you possibly ask for? So let's start off by meeting our team to our left. They are dressed in red, as they always are. Please welcome the Downhill Racers. They stayed amazingly dry so far, and uh, let's meet them uh, face to face. We have Allison, we have Greg, Beth, and Randy. And Greg, I understand that uh, you go skiing all the time and, and weird things happen. What kind of things happen to your family? Well, about two years ago, we went skiing, and my dad and my mom were on a lift, and my dad got off the lift, and mom forgot to get off. So you just kept, where do you go? Well, it stopped. It's, oh, that does. It, your ski unplugs the whole thing, and it stops it, and everybody on the lift stops, and then the little guy comes out, and, can I help you? <laughs> and, and there you are. Very nice. Now, I understand that, Randy, you're a game show veteran. You were on Wheel Oh, Sports, and what did you win on there? Uh, won a Mizuzu. Very Small nice. I, I don't know if you can say that on our show, but he just did, <laughs> so who cares? Anyway, congratulations to you. Let's meet a team over here to my right. I don't think they've ever been on Wheel of Fortune. We'll find out. Please welcome the Mindbenders. <laughs> and they are, live and in person, Gail, Anthony, Michelle, and Carl. And uh, Anthony, uh, you are an art outdoors type group. You've been uh, fishing a lot. What happened on this boat trip that you went on? Um, my dad and I and my mom, my sister, we were all out. And this boat we had rented at Boca Grande. Uh -huh. And my mom was in the boat and we were all out. And the boat started drifting off at this island that we thought we had anchored at. <laughs> and so we had to go get her. She was drifting. This, both families have these problems of drifting out away with, uh, without the other members. Who knows? Well, anyway, let's talk about the rules here on Family Double Dare. I'm going to be asking you a question. And if you don't know the answer or think the other team doesn't have a clue, you can dare them to answer it for double the dollars. But be careful, because they can always double dare you back for four times the amount, and that means you either have to answer that question or take the physical challenge. Good luck to both teams. We have a $25 question for the downhill racers. McKinley is the name of the tallest what in the United States? we we'll bring you up to 50 or you could dare them. Mountain. You are right. Add $25 over there to the downhill racers. They uh, magically have 25 more and uh, another question. Name the 1970s TV show about a truck driver whose sidekick was a chimp. Four twenty-five, or you could dare them. BJ and the Bear. Well, you were the ones who watched that, huh? I don't know. BJ and the Bear. Who, who starred in that? Do you remember who starred in that? Greg Evigan. Oh, Greg Mom, I heard you do. Yeah, Greg Evigan. Yeah, and who played the bear? You have no idea. Either do I. Okay, here's another question. Who's the only Klingon currently serving as an officer on Star Trek The Next Generation. Worf. Worf is right. Another 25. You now have 100. <laughs> Lieutenant Worf. A big Star Trek fan is what we have there. Pennsylvania is the only state to have an official state dog. What breed is it? Is it an Irish setter, a Great Dane, or a really mean French poodle? There. All right, now we're at 50. Could get you on the board for the first time here, Mindbenders. Pennsylvania, it's the only state to have an official state dog. What breed is it? An Irish Setter, a Great Dane, a really mean French Poodle, or you could double dare them back. Double dare. Now worth 100, you're going to take a physical challenge. Physical challenge. Uh, actually, it is a Great Dane, and we do have a physical challenge right down over here worth $100. I need two folks to help me out. 
Greg Evigan, huh? Yeah, my Good. two dads. My two dads, that's right. Well, you know all this TV trivia. Can you name another show that I've been on? At Time's Up, okay. <laughs> we won't take points away from you. You know what? Um, I'm trying to figure out. You look like you would love to wear a bowl on your head. I don't know why. I just feel that. So why don't you come over here and say hi to Jamie. Go over there and talk to Robin because uh, she's going to be showing you something interesting. We're going to have... Ooh, don't stand and sit on that just yet. <laughs> this man is anxious to go. We're going to put those goggles on. And I need you to step a little bit forward. And we're going to put this bowl on your head. And after we do that, we're going to show you that there is nothing in that bowl currently. But you will be standing in this position. And your mom will help you out because we do have some balloons over here. And they are filled with a liquid inside and all you have to do when I say go is walk over here as fast as you can or you could run it's up to you and put that up there into that bowl that's where you'll be standing and after it's in that bowl then but don't not now sit down on that blue cushion and this little hand will pat you on the head and break that balloon and if you can break four balloons in 20 seconds or less we will give you $100 otherwise we are going to have a tie game four balloons all right so you go down and get one two three and four remember the secret word today is Greg Evigan on your mark Get set, go! 20 seconds is what we have. Put it on. Here's the first one. Get out there. Go there. There's one. We need to do three more. There's number two. Oh, it fell out. You got to make sure that it stays in. Otherwise, it doesn't count. Jump down there. Oh, that one fell out with six seconds remaining. That's the right idea. And there's two. Oh, we only have two. You look like you're uh, having a good time, but we're going to put $100 over there because they earned that money. Didn't get it in 20 seconds. Nice job. They have a tie score. Downhill racers made a great attempt, but uh, the balloons kept falling out. Sometimes that works very quickly, and sometimes they have problems. Today they did, and that means that the mind benders have control of this $25 question. Who was Snoopy's arch enemy in his imaginary dog fights over France? Give you the lead, or you could dare them. The Red Bear. You are right. You've taken the lead, mind benders. Way to go. 125 for you. Tell me, team, what wild and crazy guy starred in the movie The Man with Two Brains? Give you a $50 lead if you answer this one. Or you could dare them. Dare. All right, now worth $50 could give you the lead. What wild and crazy guy starred in the movie The Man with Two Brains? Steve Martin. You've done it. Another $50. <laughs> We're having a seesaw battle here today on Family Double. They're all over the place and back in control with the downhill racers. I need to know the popular rock and roller who's been making hits for 20 years. His real name is Reginald Dwight. What do we know him better as? Bring it to 175. Elton John. You are right. Another 25 there. 175 is what they have. <laughs> Tough question. Which member of the family knew that? Allison. Well, you know all these names, don't you, huh? Unbelievable. A dim-witted sloth always mistakenly grabs what and falls down? Its arms mistaking them for branches, or B, giant rocks mistaking them for sloths, or C, Rowdy Roddy Piper mistaking him for a second cousin? <laughs> A. A. Uh, its arms mistaking them for branches. Right again. Another 25. <laughs> up to 200. And a 75 dollar lead. I don't know how they know these weird questions, folks. <laughs> what Major League Baseball team plays its home games at Candlestick Park? Bring it to two and a quarter. San Francisco Giants. You are right. Having a tough year this year in the National League. But hang it in there. All right, Allison, Greg, Beth, and Randy. Next question goes like this. Name the Oscar-nominated actress who was the girl in the fabulous Baker Boys. Bring it to 250, or you could dare them. Michelle Pfeiffer. I, I should have known that Allison would know that. Yeah, 250 now to 125. They've doubled the score of the Mindbenders. All right, let's see if they know this one. On a healthy human being, approximately how long to the nearest foot is the large intestine? Bring it up to 270. There. There, now worth $50, team. On a healthy human being, approximately how long to the nearest foot is the large intestine? Or you could double dare them back. Double dare. Now worth 100. You got to take The answer is five feet and uh, that sound means it is the end of round one two hundred fifty dollars for the downhill racers and with 125 the mine vendors are not far off we're going to come back into round two where the dollar values will double we'll be back with a fifty dollar toss-up right after we do this join us the family double there it's round two and that means all the dollar values will be doubled and if by chance you hear this sound right here 
That means the game is over. We are going for $50 in control of round two, and it's time to make human jelly rolls. We have humans right over here, and we have some jelly right down in this neck of the woods. All sorts of good-looking gack, and when I say go, you must pick up a container, toss it all over your partner. Pick up the second container, just the jelly, not the entire container. You will do the same thing over there, and then you roll up the human in this roll, and when they get to this end, we have a great cream topping to come on top. First team to accomplish this gets $50 control of round two. Who's going to do it? Let's find out together right about now. Good luck. On your mark, get set, go! Here goes the jelly, and next goes the roll. Whoa! Mom fell down over there on the blue side, and looks like the red team is moving rather quickly, and they pull it off. There it goes! <laughs> you guys all right over here? We've got, we've got a human in there. I know. <laughs> Look at this, she's having the time of her life, you alright? Yeah. Come on up there, and let's get started with round two on Ashley <laughs> Stubble there. Give a round of applause for oh, I got it all over me, too. <laughs> they can't believe it. Michelle is walking around going, I can't believe somebody just poured all this jelly on top of me. Careful, Randy is, uh, and, and, and <laughs> everybody is going nuts here on our stage. Alright, the $50 goes over to the downhill races. They now have uh, 300, but remember in this round it's 50 and then uh, 100 and 200 dollars on a double dare. And we will continue right now with the downhill racers and this 50 dollar question. In England, if you order broccoli in a restaurant, what do you get? An order of spinach, an order of cauliflower, or do you get flat? There. There. Now worth 100 dollars. In England, you order broccoli. Do you get spinach, cauliflower, or slap, or you could double dare them back? Up to you. Cauliflower? You are right. $100 added over there. You have two and a quarter. Just $75 away from tying this thing up. I need two answers to this musical question. Give me the last name of the guy who wrote and sang I Got You Babe with Cher and the first name of the lead singer of the group U2. But bring it to 275 or you could dare them. Dare. All right, now worth $100. Two answers, the last name of the guy who wrote and sang I Got You Babe with Cher and the first name of the lead singer of U2 or you could double dare them back. Bono. I need an answer. Bono. And more specific information. Bono. Sonny Bono. Uh, will we accept that? Yes, it's Bono, it's sometimes it's pronounced Bono, but it's Bono and Bono will work. We'll add another hundred dollars and uh, that's it. Sonny Bono and the guy from U2 is Bono. That's it. All right, for another $50, according to statistics, which shoe do most people put on their feet first? Could add 50. Right. Right foot, yep, that's right. Another $50 brings you up to 450 to 225. That doubled the score once again. And we do have another $50 question, maybe a physical challenge. What TV sitcom character is famous for saying, don't be ridiculous? Balky Bartokman. Yes, you got it. Add another 50 up to 500. <laughs> I get the feeling that this family watches too much television. I don't know, just a thought. In Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, Snow White goes into a very deep sleep. And she does it after she eats what? A tainted pie, a poisoned apple, or a box of goobers? Poisoned apple. Yeah, right again. Another $50 up to $5.50. <laughs> family over here is looking for that physical challenge. On the Declaration of Independence, whose signature is the largest? Or you could dare them. John Hancock. Yeah, right again, up to 600 now. Walking away with all this money here on Family Double there. I'd like to know what popular plaything was accidentally invented when an engineer knocked a coil off the shelf. Bring it to 650 or you could dare them. Slinky? Slinky's right. That's right. A slinky is how that whole thing happened. Knocked that coil off and turned into a multi-million dollar toy. The capital city of what country is heated entirely by underwater hot springs? Could bring it to 700 or you could dare them. Dare. Now worth 100. The capital city of what country is heated entirely by underwater hot springs or you could double dare them back? Yeah. Double dare. All right, now worth $200 or do you want to take a physical challenge? Reykjavik, Iceland. You are right. $200. Unbelievable. Now tell me. Were you playing strategy over there, or did you just think of it at the last minute? We well, just thought it was you the last minute. You just thought it at the last minute. And they probably spend their vacations in Iceland, so that's probably where it came from. All right. 
In The Wizard of Oz, the role of the Tin Man was originally given to what lanky actor? Or you could dare them. Dare. All right, now with 100. Wizard of Oz is the movie. The role of the Tin Man was originally given to what lanky actor? Double dare. Now worth 200, or do you want to take a physical challenge? Physical challenge. It was actually Buddy Epson, remember, from the Beverly Hillbillies? And we have a $200 physical challenge right down over here. Join me, if you would, please. Right down here. Oh, I need the whole family. The whole family's coming down over here. All of you. I need all of you. Thank you. Robin is going to bring out some really interesting contraption, and you will notice that there are four seats, and there are four people over here, so I'd like you to come around over here and have a seat anywhere that you'd like. It is up to you. I will let you determine your own destiny here. We have four seats, four people. Grab a chair, and I will tell you about making a cake, because that's what we're going to do. Robin has six layers of cake down over there, and what I'd like you to do when we say go, after we have you strapped in with these goggles and our safety belt, is to pick up layer number one, and just kind of toss it all the way down here, one by one, and you must put it right here on the platter, sir. And after you have it on the platter, we're going to make a layer cake. So you take a handful of this whipped topping and put it on the first layer. Then by the time you turn around, the second layer will be coming over here. You must take another handful all the way until we get six. When the top layer comes, you must take a big handful and put it on top. So we have cake, and we have uh, some uh, topping in the middle, and uh, we do have one problem. There's no icing. Did you see that? Up. Yeah, it is up on top. You did notice that. So you, at the end of the sixth layer, and it must stay standing, it cannot fall over, pull down on this, and you will not only ice the cake, you will ice the family and perhaps another $200. 20 seconds on the clock to do it. Let's see if it can be accomplished. On your mark, get set, go! Here goes the first layer, and there goes some topping. And that's number two. There's more going over with number three. We need three. Here comes number four. It must remain standing. Remember that. There's number five. Here's number six. And there's the yes. That's where it is. Right <laughs> over there. They have accomplished that, folks, with bells. And uh, we are going to ask them to come up here. Be very careful sliding up back to the podium. We've added another $200. They have 1050 All right. $1,050 is what they have, and uh, we have another question for them. It's worth $50 to the downhill racers. What city was the actual... That sound means it's the end of the game, and with $1,050, the downhill racers win today's game of Family Double Dare. Unbelievable. We're going to be going to our Family Double Dare obstacle course. Chance to win more prizes, maybe some more money, but we have to say goodbye to a team called the Mind Benders. You guys played great. We hope you had a good time. You do get $225, and Harvey, don't we have lovely parting gifts for them? BK, listen. Can you hear it? BK Rat Tech. Tough new shoes from BK. They're on your feet. They're in your ears. And the power of advanced technology combined with the ultimate power hitter, the Big Hurt, comes to the plate with motion capture graphics and all the major league players. Frank Thomas, Big Hurt Baseball, so real it hurt from a plane. We're getting ready to race through our messy family double dare obstacle course. Don't you dare go away. The uh, family double dare obstacle course where the downhill racers have broken the scoreboard. They've won $1,050, going to try and win the obstacle course now, starting off with Beth. You have the monkey bars. Now, I understand you're into gymnastics, right? Yeah. How long have you been doing that? Um, about three years. Well, you're going to go across this just like a whiz on the monkey bars. You stop, uh, start here. You don't want to stop. You want to go all the way across. You can skip some if you'd like. And once you get over here, you drop off. You grab that flag and you win this prize. Armatron Classic Character Watches featuring Snoopy, Garfield, Bugs Bunny, Barbie, and more. The fun fashion statement for your wrist, Armatron America's Watch. Allison, every uh, now and then people uh, tell me that I have bats in my belfry. Anybody ever tell you that? Oh, more than one. More than <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that's the name of this obstacle. Turn around and take a look. We do have three bells and we have three cords. Now, the flag is hidden somewhere there. I'm not sure where it is. You can choose one, two, three. As soon as it falls out, though, you grab it, you pass it, and you win this. It's the Strata Scooter with BMX-style handlebar and the XP-Series Skateboard for the more daring. Both in hot colors or graphics, and it's from Veriplex. Greg, do you play sports? Yeah, I do. Which ones? Tennis, basketball, football. And you have long legs, right? Yeah. 
Oh, so you'll be able to get up this in no time. Sunday slide, you don't want to get to your feet on that gack. That'll slow you down. Go up the sides if you can, up to the platform and down our twisty slide. Walk over here with me because I'd like to show you what you will eventually be a part of. Whipped cream, cherries, and uh, some Oreos. Don't let it slow you down. Stand up, grab that flag. That's number three, and here's prize number three. It's Resintel's Escapade Luggage Collection. The fun and inexpensive escape from traditional luggage. Single shell molding and rugged construction. Contemporary design from Resintel. Randy, number four is garbage truck. All you have to do, actually come down here. We have a bunch of trash I'd like to show you. It is right in this little area here. And uh, what we want to do is dump that on top of you. And if you do this, move this lever in this direction, that will come down. And a flag will drop. Grab that flag, pass that flag, win this prize. It's the Konica A4 camera. A full-featured, fully automatic 35 millimeter camera. It's pocket size and lightweight. Make it the world's smallest compact available. Bath number five is icy truck. You must get down on the seat and go all the way across. This is very slippery. It'll slow you down. Crash through this whipped cream wall. Stand up. Run to flag number five. Grab it and win this. It's the new DP Air Gometer Exercise Bike for a total excuse-proof workout at home. Electronic console measures calories and heart rate, and it's from DP. Now, they tell me this was modeled after me. I don't know. Number six is in one ear. It's supposed to look like me. All you have to do is actually go in one ear, this one, and come out the other. And on the other end is a flag. Grab it, pass it, and win this. The Iowa CSD XW505 portable audio system with its new Euro design featuring super T-based double cassette recorder and compact disc player Iowa. What a difference. Number seven is the typewriter. Find the magic key. Push on it. Up will come that flag. When you grab it, you will pass it. And Harvey, what do you have for him here? This time it's the Head Start Explorer. Mark, a family computer with all the important software built right in. From Head Start, it's the leader in home computers. Randy, with 52 or 3 seconds, you want to be at obstacle number 8. It's called Test Your Strength. All you have to do is pick up this big mallet and smash it. Where? Well, right over here. And then what happens is it will magically release that gas bucket. In that gas bucket is a flag. And if that flag drops down and you have it in your hand in 60 seconds or less, Harvey, what's the grand prize today? It's a fabulous new car. It's the Ford Mustang LX Convertible. You'll drive in style in this 42-door with its four-cylinder engine and power equipment group. Fun to run by Ford Motor Company. Your new car from Family Double Dare. We have a very attractive looking course, but unfortunately there's no mess on it, and we're going to change that right now. They've already won $1,050, and we like to give away that car, so audience cheer them on. 60 seconds on the clock. On your mark. Get set. Go! We are moving across, and let's see if those gymnastics lessons really pay off. And it looks like they have. We're done with obstacle number one. Moving over to Back to the Belfry. And let's see. There's the flag. There it is. Number two. Grab it and move over to number three, which is Sunday Fly. Get our time grabbing it, and that may cost us some time. We've got a 44 seconds. He needs to get up the Sunday slide. He's got those long legs because he plays basketball, and he needs to reach right up there. If he can do it, his feet have gotten rather wet, and now it's pure determination. That's what it comes down to. See if they can get him up there. See if he can just die for it because we're down to 27 seconds. Go ahead, reach for it. That's great. That's the way to go. And we love to see that on Family Double there. And the crowd loves it as well. We're going to come down the Sunday slide, and... The watches, the skateboard and scooter, the luggage, and the camera all together, a prize package of almost $700. $700 in prizes. You broke our scoreboard with 1050 You had a hard time over there, didn't you? Yeah. That happens from time to time. You were great sports. I want to say thank you for being with us on Family Double Dare. We hope you had a good time. We want you to join us every Saturday and Sunday right here on Nickelodeon. We'll see you then. Bye-bye. <laughs> this is your announcer, Harvey, saying join us back here next time for more family fun. Ooh. Right here on Family Double Bear. This afternoon, Nick's World Championship for Kids continues, and nine different countries are vying for a piece of the crack on Global Gotcha. Do you have it? Today at 4.30, 3.30 Central, only on Nick. Now, stay tuned for Doug, next, right here on Nick. There was produced before a live audience in Nickelodeon Studios, Universal Studios, Orlando, Florida. On the massive 
Reptile.